You know, there's a time when I had shorter hair. And so when I wore glasses, it looked different. And I know that there was a specific caliber that you would wait the one wardrobe. But I also know that what you've been interested in for a very long time is that picture of me in the pinstripe suit with the white shirt and the pink tie. I wasn't alone. I was with somebody else. We made a nice contrast. It's not the same as the contrast that I just got the visual inspection on out in the other room, right? For reference, on February 19th, 1943, the War Department issued a brief outlining the 15 major steps in the flow of acquiring munitions. The steps occurred in rough chronological sequence for individual production units, but simultaneously for any number as a whole. In comparison to this elongated process to corresponding elements in today's acquisition life cycle is possible. Indeed it is. Moving on. The institution of material controls, also called production controls, became necessary in 1940 to channel scarce materials into production activity. Priorities, allocations, and budgeting were the primary controls systems. But as we discussed today, contract procurement is also very vital. And at least since December 12th of 2008, there have been very specific laws. If you take those factors and you put it together with what was already, already known, long-standing policy regarding the 15 steps that were outlined starting in here and the various other processes that have been put into legislative authority since, you lack the authority to do what you thought you were going to do tomorrow. You understand? <laughs>